All right, good morning, everybody. Let's go over the following uh, Final Cut Pro X filters. We have Pixelate, Prism, Projector, and Quick Flash Spin, not Quack Flish like I said the other day. That was pretty funny. Okay, let's start with Pixelate. I don't know why it's showing this photo recall. Oh, because I still have it there. Let's get rid of it. All right, Pixelate. Drop it in there, and basically it just makes an 8-bit look to everything. If you bring up the amount, it makes the pixels bigger. So let's watch the really bad Atari graphics. Sorry, let me rephrase that. Now let's watch the really bad Atari graphics. They were Atari 2600 graphics. If you added some sort of another filter to it, you can make it like four colors and it would look really bad. It would be pretty funny. So as you adjust the amount, you can see the pixels get bigger. And then you have a center, which you can drag around the screen and just kind of changes the prism. Okay, next one, Prism. This one's quite fun and interesting. You have an amount, and what this does basically is it separates the red, the green, and the blue channels. And as you separate the red channels, you can see that the red is bleeding over this way, the green is here, and the blue is bleeding over to the left side. And then you can use the angle to turn it. All right, so here on the screen, you have a throw and an angle that you can just kind of pull on both of it. Pretty neat. All right, let's pull that out. Actually, let's put that back in. And let's play the video while it does that. Just interesting. Okay. Whoops. I threw out my clip. All right. Let's throw out Prism. And let's go to Projector. And what Projector does is makes it look like an old 16 millimeter film projector that you used to have in your school. Like those old training videos. Um, what to do when there's a bomb threat? Hide under your desk. All right, so you have an amount, which basically is your blending or mix. You have no other controls other than this. You can't control the amount of grain or amount of flicker or anything like that. You can only control the amount of the effect. Okay, let's pop out projector and quick flash spin. This one is interesting. I actually like this one a lot, but I don't use it very often because of the way it works. Um, it only really affects the first few seconds of the, of the clip. And you're about to see what it does. And there's no controls. You just have these first few seconds of that. And it's cool. It won't do it any other time just that first few seconds but if I cut the clip it'll do it again so there was the first one here comes the next one all right so that's kind of fun so we had pixelate prism projector and quick flash spin and next we will go with radial rain raindrops and raster. All right. Thank you very much for watching.